Ko te noho māwe he atu i tō rohe tā ngai ngai i tō whenua tipu, he āhua tanga kāore e kitea ki Brazil noiho. Engari ia ki ngā wāhi pēnei iruahine, kei te rohe o mana watu. This way of life he kiriata, e hāngai ana ki tētahi whānau Māori i kemi whare i tawhiti, hei kai ngā rua mō rātau tīnana me o rātau whakāro. E whātau te roa ka whai ngā kaihanga kiriata i te whānau kārena me a rātau hoiho e rima te kau, i o rātau hairenga, ko te tahe o tētahi pēpe, te ngarotanga o tā rātau kāinga i te ahi, me ngā tautohe i wānganui i a pita me tāna mātua nā nā nō i whakatipu. Ko te kai whakanao, ko Barbara Burston, ko te kai tango pikitea, ko tāna tāne tonu, he kai mahi nō Hollywood, ko Thomas Burston. Well, you know, I, I see them as a mythic family, you know, they're, a, they're like a perfect family. They're so beautiful and they're so compelling. And their philosophy, not just their, their philosophy, but the way they, they execute their philosophy in, in day-to-day life is amazing. My name is Llewellyn Stephen Otley Cardina, and my dad's name is called Peter, and he likes to take me to the mountains since I'm the oldest. I've got four younger brothers and sisters, and my mum's going to have a new baby soon. And we live in Omahu, a little town in the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Ko te kiriata, this way of life, e pā ana ki tētahi whānau Māori. How many kids get to have their father at home all the time and paying attention, direct attention to what their kids are doing and, you know, and a, a mother that manages them with such, also with such intense attention. My mum's name is Colleen, and she's the bestest mum in the world. Mummy, Colleen. There's no better mum than her. I have. <laughs> I have. Many people tell me I'm crazy. I have five kids and one on the way. Um, oldest is eight, and um, the youngest is turning five. So I had five under five. But it doesn't bother me that we have, we've got a, quite a few children, and I'd like to have more. So when I got to see this example of parenting, and I got the opportunity by being a filmmaker to show the world that example of parenting, and I think it, that's a really important thing. Mm. It's an alternative that we hardly ever see. Home is my kids, my husband. Not about a flash building. It's just where you find, where you, you're loved, and so, yeah, I couldn't say I'm homeless, no way. Ahakoa ngā piki me ngā heke, i a rā he rā whai oranga mō rātou. A rā atu anō te kiko o tēnei kiriata, me te pātai, e aha te mea nui o tēnei ao. We've come, as a society now, we... we characterize stability as you know the the wealthier you are the more stable you are and the more security you have and it's just completely wrong it's like it's all round the wrong way you want to look at my tooth i pulled it out by myself did it hurt nah kids in our in the film have great emotional stability and it's a different form of wealth and i think it's one that has that we need desperately. We need to return to it, all of us. All colonised people straddle two worlds because you've got the yearning and you've got the, the, um, the pressure. So, and they very much exemplify that, that they do straddle those two worlds. And as Peter talks about in the film, you know, he has a real issue with land ownership and we understand. I mean, you know what that's about. And he's talking about, you know, he has to earn money to buy land so that he can run his horses to earn money. And that's a conundrum for him. At the end, what we, what we wanted to do was, so that, was that people, rather than the audience judging the way Peter and Colleen live, that they would instead turn back and look at their own lives and use that life to view themselves, and I think that seems to have happened.